Would you have all the lines? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that'll be the <laughs> Alright, so I feel like you wanted to say something to start us off here. Besides that we all blue eyes, because that is established. We're all beautiful beasts. Well, before before we start, we should introduce ourselves. Yeah. I'm Jordan. Jay. On that side. Next to Bach. For some reason. Next to Bach. See, now he's saying it's that chair. <laughs> this I, hate this. I hate this episode. <laughs> <laughs> he hates it already. I'm RJ Anthony. I'm Dylan Whitson. Well, you had to look at him and make sure. I was gonna say Bob it. Watson, but I, he had that look like if you do it, I'm slapping you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the one who has a soccer game that he has to get oh, to. Oh shoot! I watched. Future. I watched soccer earlier today. Who? Oh, shoot. No way! <laughs> Did you just go up to random kids and watch them play soccer? No, no, I was at the park shooting basketball, and you know that one off of uh, Ventura, mm-hmm. and they had like a Spanish soccer leagues going. It was kind of really mm-hmm. cool and intense, and at one point. The dudes collided and a fight almost broke out in the game. Like, the spirit of competition was high. They even had a, a guy with his cart coming around selling paletas or something like it, you know? It was it was pretty lively. Like, that's the dude, atmosphere there, dude. I was just feeling it all day because I was like, this is a good competitive atmosphere. <laughs> so, wait, wait. I'm not even competing against anybody, but I just feel the energy. Shot. What you're saying is the soccer game Occasionally was the- making your basketball game That's better. Heck yes, absolutely. And then not to, no, my stroke was on point today. And then on top of that, so every are, now and then, then golf. No, uh, I've sh- never heard stroke. the word stroke for basketball. So. Shoot. It's, it's that's shoot. A shoot. That's a shot. That's a shoot. Yeah. That's form when my you hook. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my jump yeah. shot. We'll just call I, it I, jump I, shot. There you go. It was on point today. Yeah. And even that, every now and then, they would be playing obviously, and the ball would go past the net, so it would come into my court, and then I had to kick it back. So I'm like, I felt it, man. I felt it. It was like Space Jam in the ball, except it was working for my basketball. Okay. It's so, just so and then has to play <laughs> soccer later today, so that's cool. I don't have to play soccer. Oh, I have soccer. oh you do. He does. That's why I was oh, making fun of him. He, he's, wa- he's the one wasting time, but he's the one who has something that has Well, I kind of made it a little later yet. Too, no, we're good. Okay. Well, it was going to be a fast right. race. So yeah, I, I kind of it would be. I may have pissed your neighbors off. I, was, <laughs> do this? I had all my windows down blasting music, and I had my feet out the window, and I was laying back, yeah. just listening to music, waiting for you. This is a nice neighborhood. Come on, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got here. Oh, great. You're like, more. who's that guy in the forerunner? Just well, they know who I am. <laughs> huh? They know who I am. I'm the one. I, I, at my last house, he used to like perch himself up on my little brick wall that was like towards the entrance to the house, and he would just sit out there. Meanwhile, he had it like you were able to get in. Yeah. You just you chose to sit out there and well, jam out. And I was able like to get into this house too, guy. and I did the same thing. Yeah, I pulled up. And I'm like, "What's up?" <laughs> he told me he didn't want to lose key privileges. With great key comes great responsibility. Rude. I mean, you I know, like five. That actually ties too. into a good uh, oh, topic. Man, not super good. It's bad. I, I know. But, oh, never mind. We're the, all about it then. <laughs> there's the big. I gotta look that up. You know, Tom Hardy. Cast as Venom. Who doesn't love Tom Hardy? Name one bad movie he was in. I can't. Uh, and even if you do find one, was it well, him? I'm, I'm trying to remember. What, what's the one where him and, isn't it like Shia LaBeouf and Brothers? They're thinking Lawless. But I Lawless think that was, was good. That good. I, I didn't see Lawless. But see, but his performance in Lawless is amazing. amazing. Yeah, it actually did. He really says well. more. I mean, you might not like it. No, I think. I, mean, I, I, I like it's also a Western, too. It was a Western. But. He can say more with one grunt uh, than uh, most people can say with words. Just saying. No, oh, his voice is like, oh, it's so cerebral almost at times. It's crazy. You know, the first movie I saw him in was a uh, Star Trek Nemesis. Yeah, with Patrick Stewart. And he yeah. was the main villain that was like the clone <laughs> of, of uh, yeah, and he's Picard. like, and he's super skinny. Yeah, he's so thin, much thinner than he was like, like when he was young. I imagine he was on coke early back 20s. then. He was like addicted to coke. Oh, yeah, so he, he was like super thin. Back so then, like, he got off of it, and then. But he was a good villain. He figured out what weights were and just decided, like, okay, I'm just <laughs> gonna <laughs> become a brute. And he, like, kind of, he broke Batman's back, and uh, <laughs> and that was that. Yeah. What else has he been in? He's so been it's funny because he's in this means war. Oh, yeah, this means war. I enjoyed, but that he one plays too. an opposite character. He doesn't play the brute of a man. You know, he plays well, kind the, of. He's still a, he's well, still like one of those agents. He's an so agent, but he's like the soft felt friend who's like all about love, and he's softly spoken. Like, yeah. and you can tell his like the British accent, and it sounds like sweet almost compared. 
compared to like his normal stuff. Oh, I was like, I'm ripping charming. your head off, you know? Yeah, for sure. But he still so. had that paintball scene where he just like <laughs> obliterated his kids. <laughs> yeah. Throw the hand grenade. The hand grenade and just boom! <laughs> that was funny, but. But no, yeah, it's on Hardy. There's a there's several other movies I enjoyed. Yeah, more. I there's one with him and Gerard Butler, that guy Richie did, I believe. And the name is uh, blanking me. Machine Gun Creature. <laughs> no, it was with Gerard Butler. Oh, Rock and Roll. Oh, Rock yeah, and Roll. Um, Rock and Roller. Rock and Roller. Yeah, yeah and that was pretty good. Never saw that. The that Rock kinda is weird. No, the Rock's not in that. No, no, no. It's Gerard Butler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't Tom know. Hardy even plays like his gay little brother. Yeah, he's that's yeah, no, but that's he's exactly he's so good in that role still. Yeah, like, so he plays. I don't know. He's one of my favorite actors. I would say. I enjoy him. Um, yeah. And then, like, Peaky Blinders, one of my favorite TV shows, he plays, like, a part in there where he's just, like, a yeah. crazy person, like, and it's it's pretty good, so, I don't know, I don't, again, like, even Lawless, I know a lot of people say bad about it, but I feel like his performance in it is literally, I personally like the movie, but I I can see why people don't like it, but anyway, it's slow. Back on top. Yes, Venom. So how, how do you feel about Venom? As Venom? Dude, uh, he's I'm, not the Venom we asked for. But he's the Venom we deserve. I'm Boom. Team, uh, I'm <laughs> team Topher Grace for oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> not, I mean, not really. Sorry, but. guys. We'll see you next time. On, oh, no. Um, not team, really. Yeah, I know. I, I think. Yeah. So no, I, whatever, I like, decided I'm not actually quitting. I just disagree highly with what you said. I disagree entirely. Yeah. Topher Grace doesn't even like Topher Grace. <laughs> you know, I think Topher Grace <laughs> likes Topher Grace too much. Maybe that's what it is. Not yeah. that. He doesn't like enough other people to kind of... He, he thinks he's the greatest him. ever, and yeah. Did you hear, like, how he was, career. like, with apparently, like, the 70s show reunions and all that? Like, he was very, like, to himself and, like, not... Like, I don't know. This is, this is what I've heard, that he wasn't really receptive to the group. He's, like, the, the only one that hasn't like, gone and made it. Well, that's not why. He's not the only one. But I did like him in uh, American was, Ultra, though. Did you guys see that one? No. no. It was with Jesse Eisenberg and Kristen Stewart. Oh, but I feel it's like, like that R-rated one. It's really that fun. R-rated film. Did you see it? There's only one of them, so it makes it easy. <laughs> Which one was that? Uh, three hundred <laughs> speed. Oh, God. speed's rated R. Yeah. Really? Nice. Yeah. There's some language. I love the speed. And I'm not talking about drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. <laughs> I'm not talking about that. Then you love Speed 2. <laughs> I, hate, I hate Speed 2. That's when I quit. I knew this was turning bad. I was like, I can't do this anymore. Although I do love me some Sandra Bullock. So I do like some Bullock. Yeah. So what else you got? Tom so, Hardy. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, Tom Hardy. Uh, what, what, what is your thought? R-rated Venom at that. It's going to be its own spin-off film just developing Eddie Brock and the symbiote. So have they interesting? Have they, they said what universe it's actually going to be in? From my understanding, and don't quote me, I think it's a standalone, isn't it? At least I that's think it's a standalone, standalone, but it's also part of Sony's like platform, and then reboot going forward with like the new reboot of Spider-Man. So I think at some so point it might exist in all the universe. universe. Well, the one that's current. I think. Oh, so but I, it might be it might be standalone. So but yeah, because sure. that means it would have it to be part be of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, right? But Sony's doing it. Yeah, but it's like their. This is their. This is their like. Uh, what's the word for it? Their, you know, their big project. Yeah. So I think this is their way of getting away with another Spider-Man Spider film without yeah, without yeah, Spider-Man. Spider <laughs> because <laughs> you know, you know Marvel talked to the other day Spider -Man. said Spider-Man is a really boring character, and that they get shot in the face, and that they kind of are like a secondary character in their own story, and that certain other characters from, from who told you that? <laughs> you, I think you might know. Them. She used to live here. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna see her this weekend. Three reboots and all that. But when I see her this weekend? I'm, I'm or not, you're not gonna see her. No, no, I'm talking about Samantha, sorry. Oh, that, oh gosh, I will throw something at her. She's, no. Eric, I know you watch this. Tell your sister she's wrong. Well, she's gonna hear you too. You're probably gonna get a message about it now. Oh. No, Sam, <laughs> you're wrong. No, but I don't know. But like that's the truth. We I was even saying like I'm more excited for the Defenders than Spider Man. Yeah. I'm it's, it's it, literally the least. I don't think Spider Man's a bad character. I'm just not. No, I like Spider Man. It's just maybe, like, it's one of the ones that's been redone the most. Like name one of the one that's been redone this much. Um, James Bond, but it's, it's, then it's the same maybe. Superman. I mean, I mean Marvel. <laughs> maybe Superman. Yeah. I feel like Superman isn't as popular. I meant more Marvel, yeah. but yeah. Anyway, but next yeah, topic. Moving on from something else. Yeah. They released the 
Star Trek Discovery trailer. I don't know if you've actually seen it. He I just haven't. watched that while we were in your driveway. <laughs> I'm not. And that's like another reboot, man, right? Because well, yeah, it's a television show. No, I know. And but it's, it's still like, a reboot. They've tried yeah, it's Enterprise <laughs> like a decade ago. And this well, ago. My thing is like, I just, I actually really like Chris Pine and that whole cast. For this. I don't they're not going to be in the TV show. I know, and they're not at all. Characters. Well, but, but it's not a surprise. Thing. Like, it would be. I mean, think how much they probably have gotten for between the three movies. Like, you can't afford someone like that to. Do no, no. I'm not saying. Kind of small. I'm just stuff. saying, like, if it's. Oh, yeah. If another Star Trek thing, I'd rather it be a movie. Like, the TV show, I don't really care. Yeah, about. It's going to be a TV show. No, I know. Okay. Yes. I thought you said you'd rather it be a movie. No, no. I'm saying if they were going to make something, I'd rather them just make another movie. That I feel like they probably will make another movie. Yeah, I mean. Maybe. Just, well, all I'm saying is I've taken nothing about this show. And or the, well, I, love, the I love the older ones. Like, well, it's, it's, no, it's it's Star Trek. I, I, I love I yeah. love all the old I, Star Trek. I like Star Trek and Star Wars. Like why can't we all get along? Yeah, I, I, I can we share the universe. I'll admit, old. like I never, I haven't seen all the old Star Trek movies. I've seen. Oh, I wish I had this one. Some of them. I never actually really saw any of the television show. I like the reboots for the most part. Like the movies. Yeah, I, I have some gripes with the third one. Do we all have iPhone? Yeah, right now we do. Oh, shoot. This but is see, so my gripe, I guess, with the third, <clears throat> or with uh, Star Trek Beyond, is I like the premise that they set up, which is, you know, them crashing on this planet and just kind of having to figure stuff out. Like, I, I kind of, that kind of premise is always interesting, whether it's Castaway or whatever. But then they, like, I feel like they went too far, where then it's like, oh, the bad guy is this alien. But just kidding, it's a human who was part of... Uh, Starfleet, who is just somehow oh, can change, one? like, yeah, his, like, how well, he looks. because and... of that, that, whoa, I don't know how to refer it to that. Yeah, but, I but actually, it was no, a no, terrible no, explanation. No, 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 I, I That's what kind of Venom is, though, like, some alien symbiote or whatever that needs a host. What I'm saying is it would have just better, yeah. been better if the whole thing was them trying but to figure out. don't you like that actor? Idris Elba? He's yeah. pretty badass. Okay, he's good. Name a bad movie, use it. Long pause. Nothing. Next topic. Alright. I'm sure there's something. <laughs> you actually had me there. I can't think of a, a role that I don't like him in. That's that role. I don't like him in that <laughs> role. <laughs> well, no, but is it his act? You just don't like what the writing, but his acting. Have you guys heard of a. Uh, oh, okay, sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Have you guys heard of uh, Dark Tower? I've heard of it. So, I, I know they have a trailer for and it. Matthew but... McConaughey are going to be in it. Wait, who? Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> I just saw them. Oh. I think they have a trailer. They but do, it's based, but I haven't seen it. It's not like an eye either. But it's uh, based on Stephen King's work. And it's supposed to be like pretty big. I think it comes out, I want to say this year. I'm not positive enough. Damn. Anyway, that's fine. I just sell them. But yeah, I get what you're saying though. I mean, yeah. that villain. I don't know. I enjoyed it. I feel like the Star Trek movies are very more adventurous. Like the, they're, they're, they're more adventure than drama as opposed to Star Wars. That's what I would probably say the difference is for me. I feel like Star Wars is more fighting based to where yeah, it's more dramatic. Yeah, like the I mean Star Trek, like they don't even really like Kirk doesn't have a gun on him at all time. Like, cause which no. seems stupid if you're going up. But, to but a that's the thing is the Enterprise isn't like, and I get what you're saying. But, that's but their the whole thing is more about discovery and exactly. learning. Yeah, yeah but I'm about. saying discovery. If you're gonna go say the title or what? If you're gonna go oh, discovering oh, new discovery. lands, you don't go. Mm. With no, bullet where no man has gone before, fellas. That's what you do. I mean, they have without a weapon. Though, that should be like a catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> no, they take weapons down, but it's like you know you don't ever see a Jedi or a stormtrooper really without their. They have them on twenty four seven. Like I think which states so like why should that be different than Kurt? That's what I'm trying to. No, say. no, because Kurt's like he doesn't need a weapon all the time. If he's on the ship, yeah. What about when Benedict? Benedict I don't get like what's your point. Is, no, <laughs> what I'm saying is when you're carrying around a weapon all the time, it's more like a, a war or fighting thing. To where that isn't based around the show isn't based around fighting. It's not. There's fighting in it when they have to. So I'm saying you're still not proving my point wrong. He's an idiot for not having a weapon, even if he's exploiting. Would you rather have a condom and not okay. need it? So think of this. 
You're yeah. Kirk right That's now, right? If I'm on my gun. ship, why do I need my gun when no one's attacking me? Bro, they I tell them we're disagree in the ship with all the that. Time. You keep saying he doesn't have it all the time because it's a discovery thing. I don't care no, if he I doesn't agree have with you, it. But yeah, I agree. On his you. ship, he's fine. Have have no, yeah. I'd rather have it and not need it. I bet you there's plenty of times where Han Solo has like set down his gun while he's on the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, almost that one time when he was like, "Who shot first? And then he was like, "Who did it?" But I'm saying, like, if you're going to an alien planet that you've never been to, you don't know if there's something that's going to attack you. You have to bring something with you. That's all I've been trying to say. I concur. Um, number one. <laughs> <laughs> You're all over the place. <laughs> I, I can't hear you. This is cherry. I well, think so I guess here. to tie a little this bit more. This what happens when I have an iPhone. I don't know. Uh, that's like <laughs> With the show, Chris is like, uh, we're following a first, uh, what, a first officer instead of the captain. So that's that a little different. Oh, she can die. Uh... No, I, I get, captains don't die. I'm calling it right now. We can look back. Freaking smash cut to the future when I'm right. The captain's gonna At the die. end of the first Chris season. Hemsworth died. He was a captain. Was 30 seconds. At, so? the, at the end of the season, in the season finale, Captain dies. She becomes captain. So the second season, she's the captain. Boom. instead. Call it right now. You know That's what? if they give me the wrong. Season. CBS. You know, I, if they give me the second season. <laughs> Sean's like, um, I wouldn't necessarily disagree with that. I can definitely see them taking this whole arc, like, let's establish her as the same officer, but then we go through all this trash. Because in the second and season, the she drama starts trying, trying to take on that responsibility. responsibility. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it's it. It's like we watch TV and no plots. I know, and they're rebooting stuff, and it's like, I want to be surprised. I want to feel something different. I mean, you I want something new? I want to well, not watch Alien Covenant ever again. Well, so you, you guys both saw <laughs> Alien Covenant. Oh, uh, you want to talk about it a bit? Very, I don't really. Yeah, very. I, I touch on so it. I'll just say I've only ever seen Alien, Aliens, and Prometheus. I kind of. You didn't see Alien like, Predator? No. No. Oh, I'm so proud of you. And I never even saw Alien Three because I feel like I heard the that first two were the only two good ones. Yes. Prometheus. Prometheus or just I actually like. I almost would say I like Prometheus more than this one. So here's yeah. all I'm gonna really say. <laughs> James Franco <laughs> died in the first thirty seconds. You don't even know James here. Franco was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Saying that you, I remember so, you saying they advertised so much like all the others behind the scenes and footage. And I remember seeing online one scene. It was like the dinner party where they're all in the command room, kind of, and they were all coupled. It's basically all couples going mm-hmm. to colonize a new place. And uh, James Franco's there. Oh wait, Danny spoiler, McBride. spoiler. James was there. Uh, mm-hmm. Danny, Danny McBride was, you know, drinking a bunch. They're just having a hoot and a good time. And then. Like it, the scene almost ends with James Franco character going away and saying like, "Oh, I'm not feeling well. I'm gonna take some time." Because he was initially the captain, so I had seen that and I was like, "Oh, this is kind of weird." It seemed like it was gonna establish a totally different tone. It was kind of funny in the beginning. He ends up dying. So no, and the funny part is like Jay leans over and he's like, "There's James Franco," and you see him in the pod, and I was like, "Oh, like James Franco." I was like, "I didn't know that." And I was like, "I didn't know that." And I was like, "Oh, cool." And then the pod catches on fire, and I was like, "Wait, did James Franco decide?" He's like, "Yeah, I think so." I was like, "We don't need to do anything." No, that's exactly so I was like, so I was right. James Franco's not in the movie. Yeah, essentially, they cut him out because they even the only other way you can tell he's James Franco is because his wife's all heartbroken and like she has to place a video of him in like just one That's it. Well, I mean, you you kind of brought it up. I feel like without knowing really anything other than what Dylan has told me, like it's pretty much all. There was I saw so many different trailers, and they were all they were all different. Yes. Because they had one from like each different person's perspective, and then you had like the three different alternate cuts of like the TV spots and everything. And I think that, they even have an R. That might be the, the movie that I've seen the most trailers for ever. And yeah. yet I still have guess no what? idea what's really? going on. I saw like guess what? You saw all the best parts of the film. Oh, so and here's here's my big problem with the film. It, it takes so long. It takes to like start. an hour to like an hour fifteen to minutes. Get, uh, to and, where like, going. You don't even see an alien for the first hour, hour fifteen minutes. I'm okay with that, but in, the but story is so, you don't see so the slow. alien in the first mm. alien for no, I'm, I'm fine. No, but it starts attacking but, them. But if this doesn't pacing. start attacking them, like that's the pacing of the film and how they go about it. Yeah, I just feel like in the story, I'm not in, in, like, again, not in the other ones, I feel like I was on edge, like, people are dying, I was like, oh no, this sucks, like, in this one, they try and, like, they didn't build the since they're all There's couples, yeah. they since did, they're though. all couples and stuff, they want you to feel bad when one of the, the couples dies, but, like, I oh, just like, yeah, didn't, I was just like, oh, like, the one girl's so dumb, like, she literally blows herself up, someone else, and the ship to get back, because she's freaking out, she's freaking out so much, and no one, oh my god, 
they've never held a gun in their life. None of them can hit a target at all. See. Like it's. It's well, almost, they're supposed to be civilians, though, aren't they? Well, I feel like they, have, like they, they had, had military training. training. They, 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 they didn't seem like they did. Did they go into the planet without weapons? No, they did. <laughs> <laughs> they got weapons, and they did not how how use them. Are they? they act like they knew how to use them, and they couldn't hit squat. Yeah. And so it was just and yeah, literally that girl. Like she yeah. could have like solved the situation to a degree and got the other girl outside of the room where the, because basically one guy gets infected. And they have to take him to the med bay, close the med bay, and they all oh, shit's crazy. She freaks out. out. She like locks the one girl. She ends up blowing up the place, and, then and also blowing up herself. <laughs> in the main, so, so it's like it's one of those like things where it's like you think your characters would. I understand characters have to die. That's fine. You think your characters would have at least a little common sense to move the story well, forward. At least have them like, die in a way that makes sense, not just like we have a lot of people and we need. Just, you know, the alien can't kill them all, so we're just gonna have them like. Like just one blow up three of them, like yeah, it was, and then it yeah, it just I feel like if we kill them off now, we have to pay them less. <laughs> no, and so like Prometheus left like a lot of questions, and then when you watch the original Alien, you have a lot of questions like what happened. So in this one, I was like, okay, all my questions Spoiler are gonna get answered. You want to hear something funny? There's two Michael Fassbenders in this. I, I did hear that. Yeah. So and that is funny because they kiss each other. Yeah, but then he ends up killing him. And so, just, and, and that's again, and so where I was, getting, where I where I was getting with that is you have all these questions, and this one not only doesn't really answer questions, it, it just adds more. it adds more. Like, and they give little things to like, mm-hmm. oh, this will, but then the the answers they do like so you know, there's no be another one already. Yeah, yeah it's a but I don't give a damn. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like at already. this point, yeah. and this applies to Terminator as well. Yeah, it's like, I am tired. of Alien movies, I am tired of Terminator movies, I'm tired of Spider-Man movies. We've just got too many of them. I don't disagree at all. I feel like some of these franchises, and this goes back to what we were talking about last week with TV, some of these franchises have almost overstayed their welcome, I think. And it's kind of like, we kind of get some of the scary plot points, mm-hmm. the concepts of what you're trying to do here, but you're there's almost too much familiarity. Mm-hmm. And that's why I think oh. Prometheus was even better, because... They literally don't feature an alien until the very end. Oh, it's like the around the engineers. And it's not so, even the really well because no, it's like it's, it's a version of the Xenomorph. So yeah. basically, yeah. in yeah. this film, you have Michael Fassbender's character, the one from, from, from Prometheus, the one from Prometheus, David. standing on it's David. David. There, yeah. So there's two David and Walter. Walter. David and Walter. Yes. So David, same android stuck from the Prometheus film, has been on that planet for ten years. Basically, sends a distress call to the current planet after they have their solar flare accident, <clears throat> which is what caused James Franco and a bunch of other colonists, or at least several colonists, which to die. Which kind of makes... So they go to, go to the new planet, no sense, maybe. David, the old Prometheus android, basically plots his way, because he was the one that did a distress, distress call to get them there, but essentially he isolated this virus, which turned out to be like a bug that could come from a multitude of different things, like one was a plant spore, yeah. another was something else, but it would create these, it would infect the people and create these new different types of xenomorphs based on whether it was implanted through an animal, a human, different various life forms. And basically it wouldn't ever implant him because he was a synthetic android, mm-hmm. he was an artificial life. And he was trying, his whole, he had an <clears throat> obsession with creating life. Yeah, and that, that's what his obsession was. And the film starts with like him uh, Walter, I mean, was it Walter or David? See, I don't David, know. it's David in the beginning. So, David with his maker, which was like the, the Wayland, Wayland, Wayland Industries guys, he's the guy that created everybody. So basically his obsession is like creating like, because they talked about the concept of like meeting your creator. Mm-hmm. But the way they went about it, I'm not, I'm just, I'm not so sure if well, I'm and then uh, just the timeline they have doesn't add up, because then like he crashed the ship and it's in the same spot it was in Prometheus, but then yeah, it shows a clip of him having three other ships releasing the virus. On all these engineers, which was so weird. It was like, you were only there for 10 years. You're telling me all these engineers came out of nowhere? I don't think those were engineers, though. They were different people. Yeah, they were tall and the white people. Well, they weren't as tall as engineers because they were like almost the height of a human. But then what? Well, yeah, they they were aliens. so weird. Yeah, and it didn't explain where they came from. It didn't explain where he got these ships to release the virus. And then, like, then it was like, okay, so did you do that? And then go and, like, put a ship back? Like, it's weird. To me, it's complicated. Because you kind of told me... (laughs) Because <laughs> at the end of Prometheus, right, he's just like a head. And you, you told me that the scientist chick yeah, survives yeah, the first one, puts them back together, but I would assume that a very small part while. in the story, too. You don't see her, but you do I, learn you see about her. her body, yeah, like, like, yeah, in her backstory. Basically, he uses her as another means of creating life. Yeah. Yeah, in terms of the xenomorphs. So, yeah, like, so it's just... And he tries to control them, 
Little ends up hijacking the other end. Well, and it doesn't make sense how he would know, like, the face suckers, what they would do, because he killed all the life on that planet, which he would have tested. Yeah, but it also off. came from the spores, and what's to say a, f- a spore didn't make a face hugger? Or maybe he found the, uh, the egg. So there's just, there's, yeah, there's, there's just a lot of, like, and whatever reason, he knows how to, like, mess with genes and, like, kind of do that, which... It's different. It's different. Yeah. I'm just... I, mm-hmm. I wasn't necessarily as much of a fan as I I think I it was cool. Like, for me, it was cool but seeing, was like, cool the, It was cool it. seeing, like, the... I'm gonna say genealogy, but I don't know if that's the right word, but the genealogy of the... Like, like how you kind of... Yeah, how he created the it. different aliens and, like, the phases they were in. I don't think you did a good job explaining, like, how, like, that did, but it was cool seeing how we actually got to the <laughs> point more of that, like... That everybody knows. Yeah, and it's it's pretty cool. There were cool parts. There were parts I did enjoy, but the movie as like a whole, the pacing was off. I feel like the first hour they could have got to their story faster. And then well, they had a lot of cool concept, but it was all crammed in the last thirty minutes, and it felt like just so yeah off. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. So and then of course they leave it open for sequels. So we'll get to enjoy that. See you. Next topic. Right. Too Next much topic. aliens. Well, too much Android. You brought it up a little it. bit, <clears throat> and, and we, we kind of talked about it last week. How we think the Big Bang should end. Oh, lo and behold, since that episode, <laughs> they have now announced that they're making <laughs> Young Sheldon the prequel spinoff of Big so, Bang Theory, I'm, and all of us think it's a stupid idea. Well, and I just gonna, like, don't care. Here's don't care. here's my. I'm gonna just throw <laughs> my two cents in. One. Jim Parsons Sheldon, like no one's gonna be able to top his performance. Yeah, younger Sheldon. Jim Parsons, maybe. he's going to be narrating a kind of like old Ted or like yeah. Bob Saget with I don't really. Movie. I'm but saying the person playing. No, it's it's just not gonna live up to that. And then two, I feel like Sheldon's a great character. Jim Parsons made the character, and already feels like it's gone. Jim Parsons great. He's won yeah. Emmys for. It. I mean, yeah, I mean, and he does it. I, I enjoy him already, but I'm kind I do of enjoy still. him, but it's just I don't feel like. Sheldon is someone other than Jim Parsons is going to be and I don't, rewarding. I'm not sure like what they're going for. What are you going to get it? out of it? That's so because exactly. I, they yeah, have like a five running. minute kind of like Just teaser me. slash like here's kind of what the story is going to be. And there was like if if it's supposed to be a comedy, there was nothing funny about it at oh, all. You saw the teaser? Yeah, I watched it to see what it was like. There's nothing funny about it. What are they getting at? It seemed more like they were trying to do some kind of like drama thing, but I don't think that's what they were going for. I think they're supposed to be trying to do I'm some sure kind of heartfelt comedy. Sheldon? Well, like I just don't. Understand. The whole the whole premise is this like ten year old being in um, Texas, being growing up in Texas and like being smart enough to be in high school with like his siblings who are older than him. Oh, so the like, smart guy. You guys yeah. remember that show with the on the Disney Channel way back? Yeah. With like the the twin Maori's brother, brother, brother. Yeah. So it's kind of like that. Yeah. They say it's a comedy. But even there that was, was funny. Nothing I kind of enjoyed about that, it. but I'm not. I'm like, mm. yeah, I don't know. I just I it's feel like it's taking like, it too far. Mm. Yeah. A little bit, but but maybe they're doing it because like Sheldon's character is tested with audiences really. Well, but then yeah, it's that's also young Jim Parsons. Parsons. But it's also Jim Parsons. <laughs> Which goes back to I bet they don't get too much out of those. I just, well, that's the thing, is I wonder what they're trying yeah, to where you go. I mean, I think I will give, like, the pilot episode a chance and I'll watch it, but I it's, probably won't. I imagine it there. being quirky, but I just, I'm not, I don't care. Yeah. I don't know. Which is interesting, because I feel like CBS, you know, the number one really news, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I feel like their their quality of shows tend to be above the other networks, but like and Star Trek is going to be on. But CBS. lately, some of their new ones, like the ideas, they're like kind of it shows feels like they're falling. Star Trek, even the, the other one, even, not... even Limitless, the TV series, you know, that was, was fun, good, but at the same time, it wasn't great, and it got canceled. Not, oh, so, I, I actually you know, wish Limitless didn't. Get canceled, it was another I CBS like one, but I mean, I don't know. Yeah, they're kind of falling in the same. I thing. think this goes back to just, and it, it's easier said than done, I imagine, but needing more original content so i don't know it's <clears throat> but people are gonna watch it i mean for sure well, it's, I, well, I, I, I imagine it's gonna be some quirky show that some you know i don't i don't even know necessarily because it is a young sheldon the demographic they're trying to i guess target here beyond just regular mm-hmm. big bang fans well i guess they, there's two things that we can kind of center well, around a kid i imagine well his parents right yeah, so in high school, yeah. the the thing I can I imagine is that we will thankfully be able to do without is 
since he's so young, we probably won't have to worry about a uh, whole romantic subplot that goes throughout the series, especially since we know that he like doesn't care about that at all. No, and if they not. do, then that's very out of character for Sheldon, but... Yeah, but then it wouldn't explain anything really in the Big Bang. So, I don't know. I don't think Big Bang has... Next topic. It, what else? Yeah. Right, we'll start. Just quickly, one I'll thing. The sad thing is... The topic button's hot. The day that huh. it was released, I saw a bunch of people talk about how excited they were. So, See, the, apparently some people are brainwashed. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> I mean, what were you about to say? I, I feel like your wife would probably watch it. No, I don't think so. No? I think she would. I, I, you know, I have to double check. Because she's still her. pumped about Big Bang and watches it. Yeah, to a degree. But she also agrees that it's kind of gotten, like, kind of a little... It's trending down right now. We should ask her and see what she thinks. I don't think she'd be stoked about that. You know, she'd probably be stoked about maybe like a young uh, children's counterpart. What's her name? Yeah. Amy. Yeah. How do you forget Amy? I just forget because I just don't care. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, now next time. If young, if young Sheldon does well, we're going to do a spin off of everybody. <laughs> right? Young Raj. <laughs> milk all these guys. Ugh. Uh, so this is. Uh, you guys may have heard of this, but this is the. Uh, Headline that I didn't want to tell you guys before just in case you haven't because right, I think it's just right. hilarious <clears throat> Did you guys hear that uh, hackers were holding a uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 5 for ransom? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I think you I might have heard, heard that. that. So, How does one I guess a couple weeks ago, I didn't know this but like Orange is the New Black was, it was like, also like that too and, I and then they leaked some of the episodes because Netflix wouldn't pay them Right. Wow. Uh, same, so the same thing has happened with like Pirates a couple like a half a week ago or so, mm. uh, hackers, I guess, were able to get the movie file from one of the distributors somehow. Mm-hmm. Like, Disney says it wasn't from them because they have, like, good measures in place, but it was, you know, they have to give, obviously, the files out to the distributors. Uh, so somehow the hackers got their hands on it and were going to, threatening to put it, like, online if yeah. They didn't pay out some like obscene See, amount of money, and Disney does not negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> uh, so they said, "Nah, <laughs> screw you guys." Well, so like, I think that's you just think funny that that's like a new thing. <laughs> wait, wait. So what happened? They, they still so have far, it? I, as far as I've seen, nothing has come out. Are you guys even excited about? Pirates? Do you think hackers would pick a movie that would be more desirable? To like see? Avenger, well, or like something like that, like Infinity Wars mm-hmm. or. Mm-hmm. I better not talk about it. I'm I guess trying to propagate people. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I think we can. Holding movie studios, right? That's just, but that's, I agree that it's like a weird <laughs> choice, crazy. sort of. I, I can understand, like, it will probably make a fair amount of money. But it's, will it make back its budget? That's where it really comes from. Not if they had to spend money to get it back. <laughs> I, I, they they don't think, negotiate with Tellers, <laughs> so. I, I, I think everyone probably would agree that the first one, easily the best, of course. Great, great yes. movie. I'm not even like I I love I used to like the second one the most actually, yeah. but I think that the third one personally took away from it because it kind of just like the Kraken was so great and then yeah. it's like ah now he's dead. I yeah. don't even necessarily the, the third one. one. Yeah, but I get where you're saying. And then the fourth one, I, I didn't mind one. the fourth one, but it was third not the same. Fourth, don't mind Wait, the which fourth one was the fourth one? Some uh, like the, the mermaid's teardrop. Okay, the fountain. Uh, yeah. 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 It's so this, is, this is the one after it, or is there this one? This is the one after. This okay, is Pirates so yeah. 5? Pirates 5. They're doing a Transformers 5, too. At yep. what point, what number do we hit, guys, before we decide? I wanna, hey, let's, well, let's try to get this one. I think this is the last. for 10. I'm going for 10. Yeah, they are. Double digits. I think this is the last okay. Star Wars. Or, <laughs> wow. <laughs> the last Jedi. <laughs> this is the last Pirates movie. Um. Because for one, they already had, they're bringing back um, Orlando Bloom. Are right. they bringing in Nike or no? No, so that's the thing is, they tried to get her back and she said, said no. She, she said no, that she felt like they had already taken So that's why he looks like a crab thing, so it's supposed to be like he's. Well, no, remember how his story ended up yeah. the third one? He couldn't be on land for one time every 10 yeah. years or something. But then if they start doing things wrong, they become like. It starts taking over them. Isn't that really? what it kind of said? That's why Davy Jones is how he is. And oh, no, no. it looks like Orlando Bloom's like, that's taking over because he must not be doing. St- he only had a few barnacles, if I remember. <laughs> yeah, but, but I don't think yeah, if you have blood. any, if you're like following the rules you're given. What rules? From what I remember. Or, you know, just the fact that you're spending time underwater. <laughs> True. Like, <laughs> essentially, know. you're not. You're they, the, the weird thing is, the trailer that I watched focuses I a saw lot on like. 
a girl that looks like kind of discount Kira Knightley and <laughs> and maybe discount Orlando Bloom. I don't know. Maybe if they're supposed to be a younger mm-hmm. version, if we're doing some kind of like flashback as well as hmm. you know later know. stuff, because it's I don't know. It just it was a weird thing where because there was there's some line too where it's like dead men tell no tales, and she says something like I'm not a man or something like oh my god. <laughs> But what I'm saying is, I'll see it on Netflix later. All right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I can wait. Jack, Captain Jack Sparrow's cool though. But on DVD. Netflix. And you see a younger. <clears throat> oh, okay. You do see a younger Jack Sparrow too. Do you? No, like CGI doing. Yeah. So I don't so know. They really are doing like for sure with him. They have, but that oh, might just be for why him and uh, the Spaniard, <laughs> whatever the main. I don't even know who the Bond villain number is. three. Yeah, Wait, let me look it up. It's Bond villain number three. Which I am he's being married being to Penelope Cruz. Cruz. I don't know the name. I just know oh, things yeah, about his lives. Yeah, that sounds right. right. Yeah, I think that might be the guy who was. He has the yes, nose that looks broken. He was in no well, and for old Captain man. Barbosa is coming back again somehow. Wasn't he been? Hasn't he been back? Yeah, but like he just continues to be in the series. Based on my, you know, they killed him off in the first one. I bet you he gets killed in this one, like early on, and that's part of what like spurs on everything. Perhaps. Oh, how many it. times can they kill one man in a series? You'd be surprised, sir. <laughs> Technically, Doctor Strange died a lot, but <laughs> <laughs> that's true. But yeah, no, um, I think that's. I just love how Disney's like we're not like so. What happens? Like, do they just release the movie or? No, I think they just go on as, as well, scheduled, right? Well, so for yeah, for Disney, they're gonna release it as scheduled, regardless. It the the hackers movies. Studios. If they really did have it, I guess they just release it. But because and I understand where like if if Disney does pay out, then it's just like all right, hey, we can steal the next Disney movie, and they'll have to do it again. Like, well, that's why you wouldn't pay exactly. Out. But at the same time, I know movie studios have huge like insurance policies for this sort of thing, or like when something catastrophic happens to the production, like if, for example, when uh, when Paul Walker died with uh, you know Fast and Furious, and they mm-hmm. went on from. Six at the time, I think they were getting ready to do seven. Mm-hmm. And they filmed part of it. He had already filmed parts of seven, <laughs> right? So they had to like figure that all out and redo the plot, maybe to some degree, and have his brother in their CGI. But anyway, they had an insurance policy that they were able to cash on, and then also like delay production to kind of get their squares in order and you know put, produce a essentially a new film or at least you know one that's kind of different than what they were initially anticipating. Yeah. So. I imagine, I don't know for sure, but I mean, if something were like to happen with the hackers, you know, maybe they, they would take a loss through some degree. But it's hard to tell. I don't think Disney cares about money. Obviously, in the case here, they have more than... They print it. They they print it. But I think... But they do care. In this case, like, it's like, it comes out next week. So they're not going to... They can't just bump up the release date, but yeah. I, yeah. I doubt they care that much of okay, some people will get to see it early, but well, the fact that that's no different than people who got to see it at like the red carpet premiere, really. I mean, it, it is because different, you but, understand, but that's also but people are too. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It depends, depends on where they're releasing it and how mm-hmm. the platform and who geographically it even gets to it. Because it's not just about the domestic box well, office anymore. I feel like yeah. Disney's always cashing in on the global. Oh, um, yeah. So, you know, if you... I mean, and on that note, too, like, the amount of people that, mm-hmm. like, the hackers have it, like, I wonder how many people actually know when they have it and if they do release it, where to go to find it. I mean, like, that's, that's kind of too. You worry about the quality of it and what version. I mean, sometimes we'll have different edited versions. To some degree, too, so mm-hmm. I mean, but yeah, like RJ said, you know, it's coming out really soon anyway. Probably yeah, not, right. uh, not a big thing I don't think it's gonna make or break Disney. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good bet to make. <laughs> um, you know, it's been six years since the last parts of the Caribbean, yeah, really. You know, we got like it's Avatar been a six year gap between up, the stra- Stranger Tides or whatever. Yeah, or, wow, I don't know. What was that? Although, IMDM, uh, IMDb, I don't know why. I can't. I to talk to you. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Has a in development for Pirates of the Caribbean six. six. We'll see how this one does. And then as we'll long as one. Johnny Depp has breath, he will play uh, <laughs> one character <laughs> that he like. seems to be on the play. You know, I actually like Johnny Depp, but I feel like a lot of his movies lately have not been good beyond the Pirates. I feel like ever since he did Pirates, maybe his uh, 
his movies. He's stuck in like the same role. Basically. Yeah. Well, I mean, because then you yeah. don't have to play Mad Hatter, which was just Jack Sparrow with white with favorite. a different hat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a good yeah. way to put it. Yeah, and but so, yeah, movies is like I mean, he used it in the Rome yeah. Diaries and a bunch of just random flops, kind of. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's always done. I mean, because Edward Scissorhands, like he always. Well, that's way older. That's yeah, yeah, he's yeah, always like, what I'm saying. He's always played the weirder person. Right. Right. So what was that one? He is a weirder person. Yeah. yeah. Um, Lone Ranger, he was in that kind of... Lone Ranger? Yeah, oh, he yeah, plays yeah. Tonto. Yeah, yeah. You're right. which is pretty much I never actually the Indian that. version of Jack Sparrow. Like, with, again, with Rango. a different hat. Yeah, with a different hat. Rango, he's just a lizard. Jack Sparrow yeah. is a lizard. <laughs> so, I mean, I do, I do like... I do like Johnny Depp, but I agree with he's just like, with random movies and it's just like, what? It almost feels like... It's kind of he's lost his way a little bit. And mm-hmm. what am I going to do? He's almost typecast now. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's kind of hard. I don't know. Or maybe it's just kind of the, he was always typecast, but now it's starting to catch up to him and, and you're starting to realize he's, he's it more. Finally banked in. Since he's played three Disney characters that are all the same person, just in different <laughs> universes. Mm-hmm. So, he got in that Disney curse. Is it though? All them residuals. <laughs> I mean, okay, yeah, he's made buckets of money. <laughs> buckets. <laughs> He's got all the rum in the world. He, he, he does, does have all the rum in the world. world. <laughs> He's good. He's good. So, right. so next topic. What else you got, Arge? Uh, those were all my topics. I don't know if you guys have anything. Mm, I don't know. Is anything coming up soon? I don't know. I mean, other than... Um, I feel like I was looking... I watched a, a weird movie. I don't know if you... Have you guys heard of Crimson Peak? Yeah. Yeah, me and my brother watched it. It was it was weird. Remind me who the one is? It's um Loki. Tom Hiddleston. Um the girl that plays Alice and Alice in Wonderland. Is this the new one? And Jessica Chesson. Yeah, it's a Del Toro. It's a Del Toro. Toro. No, I think it's Baywatch comes out too. So. Ooh, you know Baywatch. what? I might actually see that. Sorry. It's I might actually see that. Baywatch. Yeah, it's yeah, right it's Baywatch. Dwayne. Oh, oh, Rock Johnson, who's gonna run for president? <laughs> Dude, did he <laughs> ask? In 2020, apparently. Wait, did he actually say that? I think he said it in like a GQ interview, and then now it's kind of. I'd rather vote for him over Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. This is oh, just a big popular So I did. Just just want to know what movie I finally watched? Independence Day. Oh, the new yes. one. God. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so terrible. Like, I felt like. I watched it. So he was. Did he well, I, I, I saw it on a plane. Okay. So I think maybe that helped because I had nothing better to do. My but God. I walk into the living room. I'm like, oh, uh, you must not have anything better to do if you're watching this movie. He was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually did go back and, and watch the part. I'm I so missed. sorry. I fell asleep within the first 10 minutes. And then I went back and I watched part of the sleep. God's way of telling you you should probably pass Dude, on. it was just so terrible. Like, I, I can't, I don't know if I can name a really single good, like, it's other than the CGI. I the current Alien. Like, yeah. There's Aliens last summer with this one, and it, to be honest, I loved Independence Day. The first, no, the first one, one, but this one kind of ruins it. Yeah, and that's kind of how I felt about the new Aliens, like, oh, they, all these redos, it's almost like ruining the originals. I know, just, like, I know, I know I brought up Terminator earlier, and I only did that because I saw a thing where Schwarzenegger said that there was gonna be another one coming soon. There was a rumor, but I think they finally agreed to accent. I mean, on, they have, Terminal yeah. Salvation, the one with our, our lovely uh, Khaleesi, it did not do great. I didn't even see it. it. Did At horrible. least it had How some many different people twist. have played John Connor? Dude, don't know. Uh, okay. I don't know. Is, was the twist in that one? Or Connor see, did I say Salvation? Well, That's it, the one with Christian Bill. Yes. Well, I'm, at the, I'm at the or, one that came out last year. Yeah, uh, Genesis. Or, Genesis, yeah, sorry. I, I mean, I, I think that the problem that they have is they keep trying to tie them together somehow. Which they mess with the story so much. Exactly. They mess with the characters. Because yeah, so like, so the one so twist good. was that John Connor was like the Terminator. Which doesn't make any sense but too. The other twist the that I kind of thought was interesting is that uh, the dude who gets sent back to save Sarah actually ends up like she's already ready for the whole Terminator thing to happen because there's like the older Terminator that was sent back. And like, <laughs> so they're trying to follow the line. Some way, it's just feel like we're. Uh, oh yeah, it's all still supposed to be connected in one way. Yeah, I would get that. And how, like, you can John Connor and Sarah Connor are played by different people every time, and it's yeah, yeah, and they're probably really, if we're being honest, there hasn't been a good one since, since Terminator Two. Two. You could say you could almost say the same thing for Aliens. That was the last really good one. It's true. Um, 
I feel like if you can get a sequel and it's done right, it's good. But, but very few movies really can quick. go. Yeah, mm-hmm. very few movies can go past the sequel. Because they're like, oh, we messed up. We gotta do another sequel that somehow fixes that last one. <laughs> and how, you know, I love X Men. Well, no, and that's right. But they one. almost fell into that to the degree mm. too. They, they, they could only get away with the last and the third one. Superhero. Yeah, yeah, the only the reason play. they were able to save it is because they pretty much recast and even then, and we did the entire life. Yeah, but even then, there. they still tried to tie it back all together yeah. with Hugh Jackman and Wolverine and the Days of Future Past, which I actually enjoyed, but I mean, no, I, it was I, almost I, like, oh, this was an error, so we should uh, undo, it. undo it by making another mm-hmm. one and then somehow retying it all together. It's like what? it's like when a band or, excuse me, a rubber band like just and breaks and then you still tie it Again, together. to go back to, to it's just, what are we doing? Like, not to try to talk about mm-hmm too much Marvel again, but that's why Logan was good, is because it did not try to it didn't play it. with any of them. It just had said, this is so far in the future, exactly. it doesn't matter. Yeah. No. And, and they just even ignored it, this stuff. Yeah, yeah which was, um, it helped. It definitely helped yeah. them do it. Here's another, this was a superhero that I don't think anyone really thinks about Power much. No, on, on June 2nd, we've got it. Captain Underpants coming out. Oh, I heard about it. that. Who's playing Captain? Uh, Ed that Harris movie? is one of the well, voices. That movie's gonna rival Wonder Woman. It's gonna be right up there. I'm just kidding. All the Wonder Woman's coming out too. Wonder Woman's I was the only DC movie. Yeah, Captain actually. Underpants. Sorry, it's Ed Helms, not Ed Harris. I don't know why I said that. Ed Harris is a little older. Yeah. <laughs> Ed, Helms. Ed Helms is Captain Underpants. Well, that was I like a. Doing good with that. Yeah. He's and good. Kevin Hart is one of the kids. See that one? Awesome. Awesome. And with Jordan yeah. Peele's the other kid. No, oh, Jordan mm-hmm. Peele. Did you guys see Get Out? That movie was I have not seen it. That movie was really good. It's like a horror comedy almost. He directed it and wrote mm-hmm. it. It came out just. I know it's like. Is that the one from Keenan Peel? Yeah, Jordan Peel. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you seen this Well, because well, they do their yeah, own. Yeah, it's because yeah. isn't it Keenan Keen and Keegan Michael Keegan? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, that's very confusing. Yeah. But no, they they're funny. I didn't hit. I didn't see that. I, the last movie I saw was uh, Keanu. I didn't the cat one. I didn't see. Oh, dude, it was, was it was so well, that's actually pretty fun. It was yeah. it was for a movie revolved around a kitten. It was pretty yeah, the, great. The entire plot literally is just I want my cat. <laughs> that's kind and of. And then they somehow the end up is. like yeah, like, dog. Yeah, you know, it's the com- the comedic it's version of John Wick. Yeah, no. except that the guys don't want to be killing people. <laughs> They're freaked out about it. <laughs> the only other thing coming soon that I think we can make fun of real quick is the mummy. mummy. Uh, is yeah. anyone excited for this movie? So I'm not because I'm not a huge Tom Cruise fan. So no, no, I actually like some of his movies though, and I like Jerry Maguire and Edge of Tomorrow, which they're actually Edge doing Tomorrow, a sequel yeah. to. Which I think is weird. How they gonna do that? But I did enjoy Edge of Tomorrow, like really good. Because I thought they tied that under, one together very well. Yeah. It was a good standalone. Yeah, don't know how you make a sequel out Maybe of it. Maybe we should have. Yeah, but I enjoyed that one because it's live die repeat up. again or something. Yeah, it's like call it. Or no, it's repeat repeat. That's what it is. Yeah, but then live tomorrow die repeat. I don't know. There were so many different like titles for that film, but people were kind of. I, um, I like to see live die repeat. Uh, sir, we don't have that. I don't like Bobby Mummy Mummy once. And here's my problem. I actually really like the original Mummy movies. And I'm gonna get Brendan Fraser though. No, <laughs> and I well, it's a remake of them. Yeah, so but this has nothing like. No, I know it has nothing to do. They're with all it. separate. No, no, I I know, but it's just for me that was like the old franchise, and I loved. No, how I went about. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I agree. Like the way they did those movies. Yes, are so good. We Whereas this three. to me doesn't seem like. Anything. Like, you're just what, taking the sorry. name at this point. That's yeah. it. From what I understand, though, they're using this mummy movie to launch a new series of, of monster not. movies. So kind of like how. Oh, we're gonna get the Monster Avengers. We're gonna tie I Frankenstein no, into it. We just, <laughs> might. We just might. Although they haven't done a Frankenstein movie in forever. Yeah, they, well, just, no, yeah, they just don't want to. Sorry. What? I'm just kidding. I'm just making a joke about how we've already had a couple of Frankenstein movies oh, come out lately. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna rebrand and do another one. We're gonna get another Wolfman. We're gonna get more mummies. We're gonna get Dracula. 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 Yay. Yeah. I already saw enough of Dracula and forgetting Sarah Marshall. I think that was a perfect story. <laughs> <laughs> Dracula story. That was the most entertaining that was version for me. Die. Or Van die, Helsing. Die. Die. I can. Fuck this. Oh, dude. Crap. So, up. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not excited for this mummy. Like I said, the originals, I felt like it was a well, action movie with comedy and like it was just good chemistry. And these ones just even seemed, the sequel though yeah. to the, the, the the original one was not good because I felt like they just tried to retcon so much into it. It's like, oh yeah, actually no, you are 
the reincarnation of the priestess of this person or whatever who so you can do this stuff too surprise you're like See, oh come on you know, i'd be like the story was bad but i feel like i enjoyed the comedy and action enough that, this like, one doesn't look it. like it's no no and it's not not at all i mean and then they had the spinoff of scorpion king which i, I actually, actually never saw that See, I actually like it, really locked, it launched dwayne johnson's career even so though he looks so. like Garbage in the second movie. How dare you? Oh, well, yeah, that's no, that's that's first CGI. CGI. and that was back in CGI. I was like, no, like, it's just coming. It looks it's like clay figure, like meets it's like, like cartoon. Yeah. If you yeah. watch it now, you're like, wow. No, it's not. But and, but again, and they even went too far with the next, the third one that they made, and it was like, okay, like I'm only watching it because I really like Brandon Fraser. Third movie. Yeah, it's, I actually don't think I've seen that. They did. One. They did. It's yeah. Um, oh, that's the like. Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. Yeah. Jet Li I never it? saw it. Yeah. Jet Li? So it was like, those ones, the action just looks so cool, but this one just looks more drama than that. And it just looks like you're evil and she's used, and it's just like, oh God, please no. Like, at least the original one was kind of cool because it's like he's literally sucking the life out of people. Like, this one just looks weird and dumb, and like he dies and comes back. I don't know. So I'm looking up some of the movies moving forward, and to be honest, there's, I'm not sure there's a whole lot that I'm. What you're really, worst. really stoked about? Not I to mean, mention, Spider-Man: Homecoming. I'll see. Yeah, I mean, those will all be. Oh, cool what about see. Cars Three, guys? I, I saw the yeah, Cars Three like, or Despicable Me Three. Kill him. I mean, what, what was the uh, one? Um, man, I just had it and I lost it because you said Cars. There was one I was kind of Baby, more excited. Baby Driver. Oh, I think I'm what's more, actually? You know, I'm kind of curious about Baby what? Driver. There's a bunch of people in it, like okay, Kevin Spacey. Yeah. It's like this. He's like a, a oh, stock car guy, yeah, yeah, but he's yeah. like a what a getaway guy. Get a car. He's like yeah, working for Epic Crime. His Maybe. name's Baby, yeah. and you yeah. don't put him in the corner, <laughs> but because he drives. And then I'm so. excited about that one. Um, <clears throat> we saw the trailer for Alien, and I was excited. The with War the boats. The no, well that one I'm excited. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of excited, excited for that. that one. I am excited. Like the first It'll be interesting to see what the first two have been better. Than anything. Yeah, I think. Other I mean, those are, are fun, but no, the one about World War II. Yeah, Dunkirk. Yeah, Dunkirk. yeah. yeah. That's, that's the one historical. where the guy never like shoots anybody, right? Or is that no? That one where he came this, out. This that was it. um Hacksaw Ridge. Was it? Oh okay. yeah. You're thinking of. So th- that, but that's just because I'm a history major and, and I learned about that, and it's like a pretty cool event. Can you tell? Can you tell us a little bit about the backstory of that historical event? Yeah, <laughs> pretty, 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 dunk, 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 dunk. pretty much. Um, they're all stranded in the. Hey, team. Tom Hardy's on that. Yeah, yeah, no, he's in so it. So Cillian Murphy, because yep. he Christopher Nolan likes his guys. Yeah, I know. He's, he's exactly. Nice. But pretty much like um, they had an attack like D Day, but it didn't go well, and then there's like planes coming, and there's no one to come save them, so the civilians jump in and go and start <laughs> saving all the soldiers. And but it's they like, end up getting bombed. Still, no, they. they so it was the biggest Where's civilian the, like pretty much rescue thing of all time. And they went in and they saved all these people and then there were just few people flying up in the air like trying to protect them with the civilians. So it's, it's just, it's I, the story just historically is like really interesting and cool. Like, you know. Dark Tower is this year. It's in August. That's the uh, uh, one. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we're also getting another, another Amityville horror movie. What? Why, how can it be oh, so many? the Emoji movie. Actually, shut her mouth. Patrick Stewart voices the poop emoji. I heard that too. <laughs> and he, he was talking about how it was like his the peak of his <laughs> acting career. <laughs> <career. laughs> <laughs> it's be poop. Oh, that's so good. There's, oh, there's a. Oh my god. In August, they're releasing Terminator 2 in 3D. Okay. That's weird. Yeah. We want money, so let's release a movie. Yeah, already. I don't know if there's anything I'm super excited for until maybe the second half of the year. Yeah. Another trailer we saw was Kingsman. No, Kingsman. that I'm excited for. That looks so good. They're bringing back Colin Firth. Oh, I have that one yeah. movie, I think. He I has an eye patch, and they kind of explain it a little sure. bit. Like, so it's, I don't know, I'm, I'm excited for it. Wagner Rock, of course, but one I wanted to touch on too is the Blade Runner, the sequel to that. Oh, is it a sequel or yeah. a remake? Yes, it is a sequel. It's not a remake. Because Harrison Ford's in it. Yeah, and it's oh, the wow. same character. Yes, with Ryan Gosling. Mm-hmm. So there's like the new Blade Runner. Yeah. So we'll see. That I actually like Ryan Gosling for that too. Look, I'll probably really interesting. I'll probably see that. But that's not till um, later. But well, we'll see. We'll see what's coming. That's that's all I'm seeing. Yeah, nothing on two. Like, there, it is coming out. I don't know. I'll probably see that. I'll see it. That's later, though. 
See you later. Nothing's really good until that climactic ending where we can figure out what's going on with all those damn Jedis. <laughs> Speaking of Star Wars, uh, Xbox, they always have their free games for being Battlefront playing. Well, so wow. their free game One of the this best month. games created all time. Yeah, Lego Star Wars That's The Complete Saga. Lego Dude, Star Wars. We've been playing through that again. It will always, it might be one of the best video games of all time. And it doesn't have a single word of any language spoken in it. That's, have you ever played, you've no. never played? Oh my god. No. Tell me more. Well, so, oh. tell me more. Originally they did Lego Star Wars in like 2006 or something like right. that. Right, but they did yeah. multiple and, versions. And more. this is the one that took, you know, the prequels and the, um, original trilogy and put them just together into one game. Mm -hmm. But like the way they tell the story and everything is it's all just like comedic Legos with they're not saying words, it's just like based off gestures and action. action. Like, like yeah. they, oh, really? they do it so well. It's no like, dialogue with them. No. And it's That's set awesome. off, you know, an entire twenty years or whatever. It's I mean, yeah. so that was just everything brought, about that was just brought back or is it yeah, yeah. a version of a newer No, it, it's the game. same it's old game, it's just for free. Oh, right? it's it's just, it's, it came out really? in 2009. Oh shoot, I need to do this. Yeah, you can just download it for free. Yeah, it came out in 2009, and it's still like 20 that's bucks fun. if you try to buy the game wow. anywhere. So oh. even used, like that's how good it's sold is that they keep the price. That's up. cool though. Right on. Yeah, I do want to try the Harry Potter ones. So yeah, I've never played the Harry Potter ones. Hmm. So we'll see. But I just thought I'd do that. Battlefront Two looks damn good. Oh, I haven't that, seen that's another game. question. Did you ever play Destiny? No. Destiny. Well, that's like, yeah. Wait, is they, there a trailer? Just, really, yeah, so oh, I, I, I recommend, God, I, I kind of hate that I'm saying, because I, I did enjoy Destiny. It definitely had a lot of flaws. I know the story. Um, and I stopped playing after the second expansion because I just didn't want to keep spending money on the com further expansions, but everything okay. I saw was like, okay, it looks like they're, they're definitely making changes in the right direction. Right. They announced like two days ago, they did their premiere of the official like first trailer of here's gameplay and stuff like that. And, I admit, like, I'm probably going to end up getting it the day it comes out. At this yes. point, is just, it worth going and buying all those expansions and playing them? No, because it doesn't matter. That yeah, stuff doesn't okay. tie over. Well, like, well, story-wise it does, but in terms of progression and stuff, none of that's you're, carrying you're, over. You're, 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 the cosmetic look of your character is all that's coming with you. Well, that's kind of cool that they do carry that over. Like, that's cool that they could. Yeah, I like them. So that way it is still your same character, but they, they and they even have a reason why. Like a lot of times when you have an RPG, it's just mm -hmm. like, oh, for whatever reason, you just don't get to take your stuff. Here it's like the the whole plot is the cabal attack the tower and they attack Earth and like mm -hmm. destroy the tower, which is, you know, where you're hanging out as the guardian. And so they like we aren't ready for it and your bank vaults and everything that has all your stuff is part of what gets destroyed. So that's why you lose everything is because well, it's... at least they explain Exactly. It. Yeah. And, and that's why like, you have to start over. Instead of like magically, like, you're the same person, exactly. but you have none of the shit you have. Oh, like, it was a backstory, which yeah. like, sets it up better. Yeah. Because that would yeah. be frustrating as a gamer not to understand why. So we'll, we'll have to see. I'm sure they'll probably do a very similar pricing structure where they'll probably have a lot of annoying have expansions. Have a lot of downloadable but it, it really was like... In playing with friends, it was the fun. only movie or the only game that rivals it in terms of multiplayer, multiplayer like playing with friends is Overwatch in my opinion. But like, there's something different about playing Overwatch where it's a little bit more competitive, and playing Destiny where it's like, hey, the the two of us, maybe two other friends and like two strangers, the six of us, we're just going into this raid that's going to take us two hours to complete, and we have no idea what we're about to face. Like that's that's fun. That is yeah. cool and. That's what made Destiny. I need to play Overwatch with you guys, though. Yeah, you do. You need to get it, dude. That's so good. That's so good. And you can finally use the mic I bought you two Christmases ago. I know, dude. I saw that you got that out the other night when we were doing our old rock band. Yeah. So. Yeah. But but I think that's Destiny two. Destiny two. All right. Well, that's your destiny. So I think we're gonna close <laughs> on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's yeah. dramatic. He's like, "What's your destiny?" We're staring at them. Um, Ooh, you should just cut it right in. What's your destiny? No, no, no. no. I'm, I'm believing it's cutting then. No, it didn't cut. All right, carry on. Cutting. <laughs> cutting. No.